so my talk today it was centered around a question about how do we bring innovation to the traditional industry? A lot of businesses may overlook importance of innovation and may just struggle to understand or to grasp the concept of what is innovation at all. Why do we, how do we bring innovation to the business? It's not as important as the question of why do we need an innovation? Because in the year 2015, 10 Southeast Asian countries will become one big ASEAN economic community. The trade will change. The good will be free of tax in this region. The talent and investment can move freely. All of a sudden, in the next four years, we have competitors spring up in Vietnam, in Malaysia, in Myanmar, for example. What do we do about it? Maybe there are two choices that in, in life that we can make. One, we do nothing, pray and hope to survive and do the same that we do. Or the second way is to start changing, adapt to the situation, to, to start stepping out of the box, to do something much more different, to do something of innovation. So for me, I have experiences maybe at, at, at a crossroad between the high tech and the low tech or the tra traditional industry world. There's a learning that I have from the high tech experience that I had and I bring it to our family-owned spice factory. So I wanted to share with you through my personal, personal story. This is me. I was growing up in the market, Baklong Tlaat market in Bangkok. My father used to be selling onions in the wholesale market in Bangkok. I grew up there. I'm running around market with friends, and that makes me the most knowledgeable 10 years old kid of fruit and vegetable. And I continue to go to study, go to school, and went on to study in industrial engineering. And during that time, my, my father took our family to Chiang Mai to start a factory producing chili and garlic powder. And then after my graduation from college, I have a chance to work as an IT consultant, not, nothing totally relating to industrial engineer. So I help our client implementing solution for the telecom industry help them produce bills much more efficient with the new technology. And that, a lot of learning by working with a lot of consultants from overseas. Then they have a chance to go to further study in the United States. I have a, go, went to the business school. And during that, I studied on entrepreneurship and somewhat in the high-tech world. And that get me an internship in marketing with a software company used, trying to do something with the handwriting recognition. And afterward, I have a job as a financial analyst with the computer manufacturing in the United States. And this is my life in America, quite fun. I have a lot of friends, earning a lot of money. And then one day, a call came from my father. Hey, son, uh, it's time for you to help our business. Our factory needs you. Okay. During the time, I have, I have to think, again, two choices. One, stay in the US, having fun, enjoying my life or to come back and take a real responsibility in the family. So, I was dreaming all the time that I was someday helping my family doing something better. So I decided to come back home to Thailand, to Chiang Mai, to start assuming the role of managing director of the spice company. So what do we do as a spice company? This is our company located in San Patong. We are in the old tech world. This is not even tech at all. We producing spice, uh, taking from fresh, sorting the bad pieces out, clean, sterilize, and dry it, and then we grind into powder. We sell as, as ingredients to uh, the food factories in Thailand. And this is what we do for 10, 12, 13, 14 years. And when it came back in 2009, our company started doing something of the change. Uh, this is the picture of sorting garlic, and this is the drying in the drying oven. This is me full of hope, full of dream, in Chiang Mai, here. And during the time our company do what? We start extending ourselves to do something different. We do instant vegetable. What's that? It's the pre-dry mixed vegetable in the pack so that consumer can use to add, instead of using fresh vegetable, add into rice, add to noodle, add to soup, and you can create a lot more variety of food products. So I came back, oh great, we have some exciting project um, from the business school, let's do something. Uh, 
Let's go out and do some marketing. Let's launch a brand. The brand has already been launched. Let's do something. Uh, let's, we start spending money on marketing, on promotion, on advertising. But the problem or the situation doesn't turn out as what we expected. We don't sell enough to cover our marketing expenses. Our products, it's kind of hard to explain. What is it? It's too foreign concept. And our products is often be questioned about the nutritional value. Why do we eat your product? We have our fresh vegetable in Thailand. So that's why it's not so successful. So in one day in our family meeting, we have a family shareholder meeting, and we talk about our situation. The spice, this is doing really well. But this dry vegetable project taking a loss for two full years. And for me, I spend 50% of my management time attending to this project, which earn less than 1% of company revenue. What's wrong with it? Why do we so balance at, on, in this way? So the family decided or uh, recommend, hey, let's check out the project. Let's go back, do what we do. Let's do spices. Don't sweat yourself. And I was thinking, are we quitting? Are we giving up too early? Because we are going out doing something different out beyond our comfort zone. But I know we need to be financially disciplined on what we do. But then, if we quit now, it might be much more difficult for us to put, put on my back again to do, to do this kind of thing. I believe I must do something different. I ask for a second chance. Can I do something different? And there's a learning during the high-tech world that I was part of because in technology, there's that we use now, it helps solve our problem. For example, we have digital camera. It encourages us to take more photos because each photo we take is cheaper, it goes. It's much faster to see the result and it's uh, more better quality than the, the, when the film camera. So that's why one company going back bankrupt. And looking at email, take for example, email encourages us to write more to people to communicate more because it's fast, you go directly, go right away, and it costs us nothing to do. So in technology world, the product or services help us do better, faster, cheaper thing to solve the problem with the much more efficient way. So that's the learning that I really bring on. So what do we do differently in our company? One thing, we need to find a problem that worth solving. And second thing, our we need to come up with the solution to make it better, faster, and cheaper. So recall, in one of our exhibitions, we went out to hand out some dry vegetables in, uh, in, the, in the hall. And we went quite many times that we don't want to bore our consumers. So instead of cooking uh, vegetable with rice, plain rice, in a rice cooker, now we start adding some garlic powder, soy sauce, pepper, garlic oil, sausage into it. So we stir and cook in the rice cooker. And the result turned out looking something similar to fried rice, but you don't need to fry it. And you only use a rice cooker to cook the product. And then when we hand out a sample of the product to the consumer, and one lady got it and said, wow, this is great, it's delicious. Can I buy it exactly like this from you? And I say, uh, sorry, ma'am, no. But we have this uh, dry vegetable, and you also can put all these five ingredients like this. I can give you the recipe. And she said, no, I don't want this. It's too complicated. Why can't you add everything to the pack for me? And I was, yeah, this lady got onto something. She, she, she has a problem with cooking, maybe. Maybe the current method of cooking fried rice is not good for her. And yes, when I look at it, to cook fried rice, you cook rice already. And then you need to know the portioning of the ingredients. And you didn't know the sequence of how to cook. You put this first and this next. And as you, today, who can cook fried rice? All people growing children now, can they, they, can they cook anymore? I must say, it's very rarely because people are too busy. So what we think now, we are seeing the problem of lack of cooking skill or lack of time to cook. What if we create a product with strip out all the difficulty in cooking? Product that is so convenient, something that appeals to the consumer of our age. Something that use least equipment possible to do without to clean. So 
do fried rice need to be fried? Can we have some unfried rice? So there's a concept to start doing the fried rice uh, seasoning products. So we take our step by looking, okay, we, we need to do some product that's so easy, one step cooking. The method is just add everything in rice cooker and cook. But are we in the position to, to create such a product? I know that fried rice is much more familiar with, to, to people than cooking with dry vegetable. So we think we had a problem to solve and there's a market to back it. But are we in the position to do it? We look around, look back to our factory. We have dry vegetable already. We have garlic powder. We have uh, chili powder. We have seed garlic oil. We have almost every ingredient that we need to do this product. So we think, yeah, why not? So we start commissioning R&D to go do flavor development and try to do consumer research on the flavor. So we come up with the first garlic and mushroom flavor in only two months. And then six months later, we come up with three more flavors and we launched this product last year, 2011. So what is it? So we, so we went out to exhibition people really keen with the products and the product, this new unfried rice, sales of the, uh, of the last half year is four times much more of the dry vegetable. But the measure is not only in the money form, but the measure to me is from the market response. We went to exhibit in many countries and what we found common through the, the seeing is we make people, especially housewives, happy. We went to China and the lady excited about, oh geez, I can cook fried rice myself. A, la a young lady in Myanmar, she's so excited about, she can now cook and bring the food uh, to work for her and her roommate in a small apartment. A mother in Bangkok is so delighted that we have a product that don't use monosodium glutamate as the ingredients so that she can be, be uh, confident to, to cook for her children. Because being able to cook at home, now you can lower your cost. You don't have to travel on the, on the road and you can ensure all the ingredients or the safety or the cleanliness of, of the food going to your mouth and your family mouth. I think this is the response I got from the, from the market and I'm pretty pleased with it. So, looking at all these uh, story, uh, if I stick with doing the spices, I'm not going to be the products today. And this product, unfried rice product, made me think, so who else can benefit from this less cooking skill, lower uh, charter time, using less equipment? Maybe the hotel, the restaurant, the food operations may want to lower the cost of cooking. So I see an opportunity for us as a spice factory to go on, to take on an opportunity to be a recipe development for the food service. And all of this will not happen if we not letting innovation into our company. So I would call out for the small business or the traditional business owner who hear me today. I want you to go out beyond your day-to-day your day, uh, day -day routine, to start doing some experiments, to not afraid of early failure, because this is a life of innovator. I want you to go out and listen to customer. I want you to start thinking differently, try to create something with better, cheaper, and faster solution. I want you to test and respond with market. And I want you to focus on what you can do so that you don't risk yourself building something you are not familiar with. I hope to see more good ideas come from the traditional industry. I want to see the much uh, more products that help we, me, you live better or do something faster and cheaper. And I will continue to do the same because I love this solving problem. I want to see more of the product and my life is not stick into the little box anymore. I want to go to innovate and I want you and me helps together to create a world for a better place. Thank you.